the Katikiro of Uganda Kingdom and keynote speaker for today, Oetitibwa Charles Peter Maiga, members of the University Council present, the Vice Chancellor Makere University, Professor Barnabas Nawangwe, and members of the University Management, members of the great Luchiko and Buganda Cabinet Ministers present, the family of the late Martin Luther Nsibirwa, the Guild President and members of the Guild, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It gives me great pleasure as the Chairperson of Council to warmly welcome you all today, and especially the Katikira and his distinguished delegation to Makere University, particularly as the distinguished speaker for the inaugural Nsibira Annual Public Lecture, the third of the Makere at 100 Lecture Series. I also very warmly welcome the family of the late OHT Martin Luther Nsibira, whose memorial, whose memory we honor and celebrate today for his selfless contribution to the expansion of Makere University's estate. Land is a precious commodity, particularly in Uganda, now faced with an exploding population. Its price, especially in the urban areas, is constantly escalating. Makere University is privileged to have the main campus covering over 300 acres of prime real estate located only five kilometers from the, from Kampala, from the Kampala city center. In addition, we have over 40 acres housing the campus at Mulago, the Kasangati Health Center along Gayaza Road, and the Makere University Agricultural Research Institute, Kavanyolo, along the Gayaza Zirombe Road. The men and women who secured this land had an incredible vision not just for academic purposes, but for research, agriculture, community outreach, and staff welfare. They acquired land for staff housing estates in Kololo, Katalemwa, Makindye, Makere North, and Waise. Such was the foresightedness of men and women like Oweth Tibwa, Martin Luther, and Sibirwa. Ebony Alexander, whose Black Family Land Trust has helped several Af um, African-American families retain their land assets, said, land is a finite commodity, and it is something we all have in common regardless of race, gender, or other dividers. With prudent investment, therefore, benefits accruing from land are transgenerational. In this regard, through the Makere Holdings Company, the University Council embarked on attracting potential investors that can co-invest with the university and undertake income-generating projects that will diversify our financial resources, thereby reducing our reliance on government funding that is already heavily constrained. The projects we envisage include student accommodation, a student center at the Makere University main campus, a conference center, and a three-star hotel at the current Makere University guest house. We'll have upmarket apartments in Kololo and a gated community in Makindye, among other developments. Sir Isaac Newton once said, and I quote, if I've seen father, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Today, we can discuss the plans mentioned above because we stand on the shoulders of giants such as the late OHT Martin Luther and Sibirwa, whose legacy we honor today. We therefore extend our deepest gratitude to the family of the late OHT Martin Luther and Sibirwa for sparing precious time and resources to join us today. Your presence here is testimony that you too hold in high esteem the value of education in transforming the lives of young men and women, regardless of race or social background,
to give them a future and a hope. I thank the Vice Chancellor, members of management, faculty and staff for your excellent work in planning and coordinating this important event. OHT Wa Charles Peter Maiga, thank you for agreeing to deliver today's public lecture. Your alma mater is proud of your achievements both as a professional and as a cultural leader. We look forward to the discourse on the contributions of cultural institutions in engendering public goods and the role that our cultural institutions play in good governance. OHT Iwa, we look forward to working with your office to make our centenary celebrations even more memor memorable for Makere and for the Buganda Kingdom. I wish you all a good remainder of the day and take this opportunity to invite you to visit our centenary website. You'll be able to share your Makere story as we continue leveraging 100 years of excellence in building a transformed society. Once again, very well welcome to you all. Thank you.